Hello folks and welcome to the long-awaited episode 6. We're finally out here in the field. We've got a nice day, some light winds, so we're uh, going to give the rocket here its, uh, it's maiden flight. Um, if you want to see the details of how this was all put together, including the uh, launch controller, uh, the wires you can see down there, and the, uh, the rocket and the uh, actual motor uh, as well, then uh, please feel free to go uh, and have a look at my model rocket series. I've got a playlist on my channel, so uh, yeah, just go there and uh, check it out. Right, okay, so uh, we'll uh, make our way back to the launch zone. Uh, whilst you're doing that, I've uh, had a look at some of the data for the flights that we're going to be doing today. So uh, we'll check that out, where we find out that this is soon going to be travelling faster than a BB from a uh, high calibre I should say high velocity uh, airsoft AEG, which I think is pretty cool. So yeah, you check that out and we'll uh, stroll back. Okay, so what you're looking at here is the expected data for the launch. We've got 13 and 14 highlighted there. 13 is going to be the first launch and 14 is going to be the second launch. That's the one that we're going to try and get FPV. Uh, so it's pretty self-explanatory. So this first launch we're looking at uh, an estimated altitude of 1,357 and a half feet. Max velocity 250 miles an hour. Max acceleration 108 meters per second. Expecting uh, about eight and three quarter seconds uh, to apogee, and uh, with an eight second delay, 22 miles an hour. Uh, so it should have lost about 15 feet, as you can see there, 1,341 feet by the time the uh, parachute comes out with an optimal delay of 6.98 seconds as I say I've got 8 so it is going to have been uh, starting to go on its way down well that's what we're expecting anyway and then the second launch we're looking at uh, just under 1200 feet 241 miles an hour and uh, altitude deployment of 1177 feet uh, so we've got an almost optimal delay there because that's going to be 7 seconds we've got 6.92 so let's see if the uh, predictions meet real life. Okay, so here we go. We had her in full safe mode. Now we're going to plug the wires into my launch controller, which is done. Okay, here we go. Armed. We have continuity. That's good. Right. Launch in. Five, four, three, two, one. Where'd it go? <laughs> That's a good question. Oh, there it is. You got it? I can hear the alarm as well. Yeah, oh yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it. You keep an eye on it, you two. But that's going a long way over to where I didn't want it to go. Where is it? I can see it. It's just up there. By like that cloud. Okay, now that was pretty damn awesome. She uh, she went up into the sky, as you probably heard, lost her for a little bit, but then uh, saw the parachute come out just after Apogee, as we'd uh, predicted, and then uh, it just landed in the uh, opposite field there, so able to recover it, no problem at all. There you go, there's the uh, business end of it, looking pretty uh, charred. Right, so now the uh, big crescendo, what this has all been leading up to. Can we launch this and get an FPV footage of the launch as it's going up. Well, there's only one way to find out, so let's try it. Okay, so here's my uh, FPV setup. It's on an AXN. I've got the uh, Predator goggles, which you can see there, and uh, 600 TVL camera, 2200 LiPo, and I've got a uh, Immersion RC GPS. Um, so I can see all my statistics and everything. The camera's going to be going on there for the uh, FPV shot. So I'll put all this together and uh, yeah, let's give it a go. Five, four, three, two, one.
shoot, that's the shoot. Hey, right, set your two o'clock. Mm-hmm. 